Joyce Herb from PaperFinesse.com, guest designing for Cut at Home. I'll be showing you crafting tips for people with weak and challenged hands. We'll also look at other techniques and products. Today we'll be using the die from Sue Wilson, and it's from her Belgium collection, and this is called Brussels. And it's very intricate and lacy. I cut this out on my Vagabond. The sandwich I used was the precision base plate, the paper, the lacy part of the die face down, and then a plate on the top. And I ran that through twice. And this is how it came out. I had a few areas I had to poke out, but they came out very easily. Oh, using the brush right here would work better if you put it over a mouse pad or a gushy pad. And I made a base out of white, heavyweight, white cardstock, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And the, the die cut fits the card pretty close. I stamped the Sunrise Lily from the Heartfelt Creations collection in archival ink. And I'm using Distress Inks with my color box stylus to color. And I'm using mustard seed in the center. And I'm putting a good, good coating on it. And then I'm going to use worn lipstick for the petals. And I'm putting it a little darker at the edges and pulling it towards the center where it gets a little lighter. And when you see me rub off on the side, I'm just making sure the stylus is somewhat clean. I don't use new foam pads for every color. I just keep a foam pad for the color family. And then I'm using shabby shutters for the leaves. And then I repeat this same process for all of the flowers. Just using the smaller flower, the two smaller pieces and one leaf, and I flip them upside down. And I'm using the second biggest, I believe it's six millimeter ball stylus from the Heartfelt Creations tool shaping kit, and I'm just pushing at the tips. Then I flip it over, and I push in the centers. I'm not pushing too horribly hard because I don't want these flowers to have a ton of dimension. This particular card is going through the mail. So I get a little bit of shape, a little bit of dimension. These lilies are really easy to make. I love the detail in the stamps. Then I'll use my Art Institute Dries Clear Glue. And I'll layer the smaller flower staggered. I also have the stamen there, which you can't see because it's black. And I will glue it in the center. I'm going to put my sentiment on first. This is a sentiment from Tim Holtz collection. And I've got pop dots on the back of it, and I'm just going to position it so I can see where I want to position my flower. I've got to give it a good dollop of glue here. Using dyes really make gorgeous cards in a very short amount of time. Granted, I'm on the slower side, but still these kind of cards go pretty darn quickly. And they have a lot of impact. This is the first time I've used my Lily collection. I love it. I think it's really pretty. I look forward to making some more. And this is my card completed. The links and instructions for today's project is at the Cut at Home blog. Please remember to like and subscribe to the Cut at Home YouTube channel 
as well as subscribe to my channel at Paper Finesse. The products used today was Sue Wilson's Belgian Collection Brussels Dye, the Heartfelt Creations Lily Stamps and Dye, as well as a stamp from Stampers Anonymous. Have a great day.